States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Jen Sherman Bach, 912 Project. Come on, man! Thanks, guys. It's good to see so many familiar faces here. Um, have a little cold, so sorry for the voice. Um, about, well, th almost three months ago now, I started the 912 Project Rhode Island, and I admit it, I'm a big Glenn Beck fan. Um, the guy is a regular Joe. And he just says it like he feels it, and he, he calls it like he sees it. And he has enlightened me and entertained me. And I just want to make a, just a note that next Thursday at the, uh, well, the showcase near you, um, a bunch of us are going to the Warwick one here in Rhode Island, but his Common Sense Comedy Tour is going to be presented at their HD Theater um, at the showcase. And it starts at 8 p.m., I believe tickets are 18 or 20 bucks. It's a little pricey, but it's well worth it. It, it is a great show. Um, so the 912 Project is designed to take us back to the people that we felt ourselves to be on September 12th, 2001, which was the day after 9-11, where we were just shocked and, and astonished and hurt and scared and had no idea what was going to be becoming of this country, of ourselves. Um, and so the, the 912 Project is set up where we look at values and principles to live our daily lives by. Now we're human beings, we may not be perfect, but unless we start treating ourselves and our communities, one another, our friends and family, even the strangers that we meet every day, unless we start treating people with respect and being humble, holding our government accountable, telling them that we are the masters of our domain, you are not the master of me. Unless we start standing up and saying no to the government, they're just gonna steamroll all, over all of us. It, it doesn't matter that the United States is believed to be the most beneficent country on the face of this earth. Yeah, it is, I mean, we're pretty charitable. We're actually, the Americans are the most charitable people on the face of the earth, but our government is not. The only reason why you think they're charitable is because they're trying to gain control over you. All of the little special programs, you're nothing but a demographic and a vote so that they get the power that they want to use to continue whatever agenda that is set forth. And the 912 Project is just set up to say, you know what Americans, join together, look each other in the eye and say, you know what, you can trust me and I can trust you. And as long as we know that we're going to be good to each other, we're going to stand up against the government and say, we surround you. Because we are not there to serve them. They, they are there to keep us relatively safe, not keep us 100% absolutely safe, because that's tyranny. That's what we're experiencing now. Um, th there are safety concerns. There are issues of economic stability, yes but they are not meant to divide us and conquer us. Um, I'll give you a little uh, glance into my background. When I was a kid, I was born in Providence. I grew up on Orm Street, which is about a quarter mile right up from the, uh, the Marriott, Providence. I grew up with people of Cambodian, Laotian, various Hispanic cultures. Uh, my best friend was black. My other best friend was Cambodian. Look at me, um, your typical white girl, now in a wheelchair, but you know, that's another story. I, I guess I belong to a, a different demographic, another special interest, which I don't uh, participate in. I, I don't get off on that whole, oh, I'm disabled, you know. Um, but, um, and, and, that, and that takes cojones for, for people to stand up and say, you know what, I'm being identified as something, but I'm turning against it. And, that is the only way that we're gonna be able to stand up and look at ourselves as independent people who are moral and ethical and who just wanna be loved and give love to other people. And all we're being taught now is to be jealous of your neighbor, be envious, um, watch them be take down on reality shows, let us humiliate each other and see how well you fare. Um, 
I just come from a, a, a background that says that I live through true diversity and now that I, well, I'm out of it and I look at it from the other angle, we are so not diverse. The, the left has told us that we need to embrace diversity, be, be culturally acceptable. Well, you know what? They're not accepting the American culture, whatever that is. You know, we don't have one particular culture. We have an amalgamation of various cultures from all around the world. But unless you have pigment to your skin, or you have a special something about you and the group that you belong to, you don't count anymore. It's reverse racism. Now, not one of us in this room, I can probably guarantee, not one of us is racist, but because we are in this room and because we are talking about the things that we talk about, we are hated, we are looked upon as racists, and they wanna shut us up. They wanna shut down talk radio because talk radio talks about these things. Um, our government is turning against us and they're using disenfranchisement to their benefit and it's all a part of something that I don't want to have anything to do with most most of the Americans in this in this country don't want anything to do with but they don't understand that their media is lying to them they don't understand that all of the various groups that go by the various initials, they're aligned to you. Um, money, power, and influence, when any of those things are involved, stay away. Stay away. I would rather hang out with the homeless guy on the street than the guy sitting at the Hope Club sipping on a brandy and how he's telling me what he can do for me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So as far as 912 is concerned, we're a group of people who believe in a virtuous lifestyle as best we can live it, hold our government accountable for it, telling them that they are not in control of us, that we are in control of them. Um, we currently meet every couple of weeks. We're gonna be regionalizing um, into a northern section, central and also southern. Um, our current website, you can, we can be found at meetup.com and with the uh, 912 Project Rhode Island. Um, we will have a website coming out shortly that will be more intriguing and more fun to engage with. Um, so that, that's all I have to say for now. And thank you for everyone coming and you know, please come talk to us, start a conversation because that's what this is all about, free speech. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.